Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. I hope you'll join me this coming Thursday evening at 7 p.m. as we're going to review the Code Red Climate Con, a review of what the IPCC report really says, along with a report by Robert Lyman called Magical Thinking, Why Net Zero is Neither Attainable or Desirable. Now, of course, most people are scared that we only have now, what is it, Greta's quoting five years left on this planet. Well, that's not what the IPCC report says. I'm gonna look at some more tempered interpretations of the IPCC report, principally those from Rob PLK Jr. Now, PLK Jr. has been following IPCC work for years. He's uh, one of the most cited people in the world, researchers in the world on claims related to extreme weather and climate disasters. And uh, he's, he and his colleague, Justin Ritchie, recently have found and published peer-reviewed work on the fact that all of the climate catastrophe scenarios come from this one scenario called RCP 8.5. And that scientists are using this over and over and over again when it's actually a completely implausible scenario. That scenario would require the people of Earth to uh, sextuple the use of coal. And that's just not gonna happen because the mix of uh, power generation on Earth is not gonna go entirely back to coal. So it's a completely implausible scenario, but it's the one that the IPCC and many climate scientists continuously refer to and they also try to refer to it as if it's a pathway or that the other scenarios are pathways to our new future. They're never meant to be um, connected in that way. They're not meant to be compared. They're not meant to be used for policy making at all. And the great thing in the IPCC report this time is that they don't attach any likelihood to any of the scenarios. Although the media already has done so with all the blaring code red headlines. So I hope you'll join me for you know, a more calm, rational, down-to-earth walkthrough of some of the things from the IPCC report. And then we're going to move into the second part of the presentation, which will be on magical thinking. And this is a report that Robert Lyman did. Robert Lyman is not a climate activist. Instead, he was a federal public servant for 27 years. He was a diplomat for 10 years. So he's been on the GHG file for most of his life, and he has a very practical and realistic view of the world and energy use. So in Magical Thinking, he discusses just how impossible it is to reach net zero 2050, and also it's very undesirable, and I'll explain why. So I'll be walking through those two things on Thursday, this coming Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, and if you miss the live stream, of course, it will be recorded. Our chat line will be open. And uh, we'd like you to join us if you can. Become a member of Friends of Science. Donate to us. We're one of the few groups out there who are trying to bring a little bit of climate reason, a little bit of sanity to the discussion about climate change. And we're asking for open civil debate and a full cost-benefit analysis of any of these policies before we go one step further. So I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. See you in cyberspace Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Mountain Time.